Okay, friends. I am Dr. Ajay Adav. So let's start. Anesthesia recall questions. Although I could just manage to find two questions. If you have other questions or uh, other queries, so just let me know. Okay. So the and both of the questions are actually very simple and straightforward. So which of the following agent is used to reverse the bucuronium? Neostigmine, atropine, dentolums, dentolin, sodium, and there was another choice which uh, no student could could provide. So you know that bucuronium is a non-depolarizing muscle relaxant, and you have to reverse the effect of non-depolarizing muscle relaxant by by giving choline extrase inhibitors, which can be neostigmine, pyridostigmine, androphonium. However, the only one that is used is neostigmine. And how choline esterase inhibitors? Okay. Uh, and how the choline esterase inhibitors? Uh, they reverse the effect of non-depolarizers because you know that non-depolarizers are competitive antagonists. So they block the same site at which acetylcholine is support supposed to bind, preventing acetylcholine to bind to that receptor site. And you know that competitive antagonism is a pure number game. So, uh, if there are more molecules of acetylcholine, they will be able to replace non-depolarizer. If there are more molecules of non-depolarizer, they will be able to replace acetylcholine. So, by giving neostigmine, choline esterase inhibitor, we prevent the degradation of acetylcholine so that more acetylcholine is available at neuromuscular junction to compete with the non depolarizers that is how neostigmine x however the disadvantage is that this increased acetylcholine will also produce muscarinic side effects muscarinic side effect so to prevent this muscarinic side effects we have to give one of a anti muscarinic drug which can be atropine or glycopyrrolate atropine is not used because of its side effects like it can cross blood brain barrier and can cause CNS excitation, central anticholinergic syndrome. Glycopyrrolate does not cause the blood brain barrier, so it is preferred over atropine. So we give glycopyrrolate to combat these muscarinic side effects. So when we say reversal agent, it is actually neostigmine plus glycopyrrolate. So among these choices, obviously it will be neostigmine A. Second question again simple that benzodiazepines and barbiturates, which is true? Flumazenil is antidote for barbiturates? No, false statement because flumazenil is the antidote for benzodiazepines, not barbiturates. Causes additive sedation with alcohol? Of course, in fact, certain cases it can be synergistic reaction also, but definitely additive. So that is true. Thiopentone has short duration of action due to metabolism. False. It has short duration of action due to redistribution. And this redistribution is the property of all IV agents. Means, what is the meaning of that? That first they will go to the area with high vascularity like brain. And from there it gets redistributed to the area with low vascularity like muscle or fat. So due to redistribution, they will leave brain within around 10 to 15 minutes. So patient become conscious in 10 to 15 minutes. But the half-life, elimination half-life of thiopentone is 10 hours. So thiopentone is present in the body, in muscle or fat. But patient become conscious because the drug leaves the brain by redistribution. Causes inhibition of GABA chloride channels, again false. Actually, <clears throat> thiopentone <clears throat> or barbiturates and benzodiazepines, they facilitate GABA. GABA, you know, is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. So, obviously, they potentiate the effect of GABA to produce their sedative or anesthetic action, not inhibit. So, that is also false. So, correct statement is B. Now, I don't know this question was asked like that only or it was multiple choices. But anyway, the only correct statement is B. Uh, other three are wrong choices. 
so these are the only two questions which i could manage to find now let me go to the queries and see if there are some other questions or anything else you want to know okay other option was baclofen okay that's fine so baclofen is also a muscle relaxant so that is not used to reverse the non depolarizers okay so it was multiple choice anyway you can make the choices so the only correct statement is b any other question or any other thing you just want to know because you know that there is nothing much to discuss related regarding the questions any other question you can recall or something just let me know i will just wait for 2 3 minutes if there is no other query or anything else then uh, we'll end up the session just one or two minutes i'll wait only b option was not there so i think then there may be something related to the choices then this choice may be wrong what i got in the choices may, may not be correct so there may be something related to that it may be instead of inhibition it may be stimulation something like that because if these are the choices then b is the only correct answer so maybe something related to the choices there is some error okay medicals fine anything else nothing okay then <laughs> there is nothing much so i'll just wait for one more minute and i think one of a question it was Uh, and one option was there although it was not an anesthesia question a psychiatry question and one option was that volatile agents can cause systemic toxicity so we were we very well know that volatile agents can cause systemic toxicity halothin can cause hepatitis then uh, all these volatile agents increases the ict then they can also produce cardiotoxicity like halothin uh, increase the risk of arrhythmia in presence of noradrenaline and uh, this co fluoride by producing fluoride can cause nephrotoxicity so that statement was also correct but that was not an anesthesia question uh, so anesthesia py discussion for neat okay fine uh, we can discuss with the management and uh, they can arrange this this session of pyq for neat yeah we can do that okay then fine great i'm closing the session maybe you have to attend other sessions also okay then my best wishes and i hope you all will come out with flying colors so i'm just uh, wrapping up the session